गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच सो आर आर यू ऑल रेडी टू टेक प्लंज इन टू डिजाइन थिंकिंग द मेकर्स माइंड सेट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ डिजाइन थिंकिंग बिफोर वी गेट इन टू द डिजाइन थिंकिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज ह्यूमन सेंटर डिजाइन वट इज ह्यूमन सेंटर डिजाइन ह्यूमन इज ऑल ऑफ अस राइट डिजाइन क्रिएटेड बाई humans for different products and services or processes are considered as as human centered designs let us learn more about it so what is a human centered design it is a philosophy that empowers an individual or team to design products services system and experiences that address the core needs of those who experience a problem okay so when there is a problem the problem can be problem which are which we are aware about problem can be which we are unaware about like for example before covid we were not unaware about we were not aware about that our learning system is going to change like this the schools were not unaware aware about that the entire learning will move from offline school learning to online learning we as students also were not aware about the learning is going to change completely where we will be at home and we will be learning online the entire learning will be happening online we were not aware about as kids that we cannot go out of our home we cannot play because of this current situation so the products or the services or the system or the experiences or the processes which empowers to create new products which solves a problem is the concept of human centered design where we use our own intelligence our own ability to make things our ability to co-create and create things makes us human centered design okay so it has been championed by nobel prize laureate herbert simon so human centered design involves let us further deep dive creative approach to problem solving when we want to go about in a creative approach to problem solving so when this covid started what happened is there were no ppe kits there was no sanitizers there was no gloves there were nothing we were not using those products as normal products but when it started those became our products we saw that products are not available in the market people were going and trying to buy everything whatever is available in the market so that they can stock at their home but is the situation is like that now no it is not like that so when you try to solve the problem in a very creative manner earlier we used to bring pp kits from outside the country now it is manufactured within the country itself right so we start thinking creatively we start indigenously producing goods and services within the country itself there are a lot of companies which they were providing some other services like for example swiggy all of us know swiggy provides food at our home but during the lockdown period they started even providing groceries in certain places right so there were other different types of products we were in a different segment altogether but to cater to the needs of the people and the problems that people are facing they changed their business model and they started giving services at home itself we have seen lot of extra curricular activities where we used to go and learn outside right now all those extra curricular activities are also happening learning online itself so those are the creation some people immediately understood that we have to create this products otherwise we will not be able to teach the kids so let us create this products and we created this products and now you are learning everything online at your home so something where a creative approach to problem solving happens that is is all about human sector design building deep empathy with the people you are designing for so here are two things one is you are building this with empathy for the people for whom you are designing 
at the same time you are also empathetic to people with whom you are designing as a team so we work together as a team right so we empathize with ourselves and we work together we understand the strengths and weaknesses of each person and then work on a particular problem at the same time we empathize with the people for whom we are creating this product so sanitizers or gloves or ppe kits is for the people who need that in at the time of the covid to protect themselves that was the need of the hour lot of companies came outside their product domain area and they created this products and it was available to all of you even at your home itself companies were providing groceries at your home when the entire lockdown was there right <coughs> start with people you are designing for and ends with new solutions that are tailor made to suit their needs so there might be some people who has some problems you have to understand their problem keeping them in their mind and whether this problem solving is going to solve many people's problem there would be similar such people who are there who needs the solution of this problem so when you identify that then you make a product which is tailor made which suits their requirement and it's come out with a human centered approach generate tons of ideas so with our own convergent thinking we generate lot of ideas okay ideas are always where it can solve a problem for some people the first part first point of thinking is whether we want to solve a problem when we want to solve a problem problem solvers then we find out lot of problems so all problems has ideas associated with it build bunch of prototypes so suppose you are bringing or you are designing or bringing a solution for the airlines industry you can create bunch of designs simple by using the cardboards and create your prototype and then work on it it is not expensive it's your creativity it only requires your creativity and the products or the things that are available at your home with those itself you can create your own design this is the human centered design <coughs> sharing and you're putting your innovative new solution in out in the world so you share and put your new out, new solutions out in the world so it is not only about creation it is not only about creating the prototype it is about taking this product to the world let other people get used to it for example i gave the example of a 9 year old kid who has written a book so if you might have written a lot of kids might have written the books why don't you publish your books please publish your book let the world know about the message that you want to give to the world if you write something you have taken so much of pain in writing a book why don't you publish the book yes all of you kids can publish the book okay so please go ahead and do it right so it is not only about creation it is about getting that creation out to the world suppose you want to spread uh, spread a message to the people go create a youtube channel and spread a message to the people you want to develop games go and develop games there are so many tools available you can create because you are the people who love to play games so you understand what are the game rules and regulations are you can create your own games where other kids your friends might be studying uh, or they might be playing those games so become the creator create your prototypes go ahead and express to the world don't just keep it to yourself express to the world so the phases of the human centered design it has three phases inspiration phase ideation phase implementation phase okay so what is the inspiration phase here you will learn directly from the people you are designing you will understand the needs or the problems that they are facing so understanding the problem and the need is the inspiration phase the needs the problems 
okay once you understand the needs then you start working on those needs you start questioning lot of people why why do you need this what are the what are the things you need in this particular product then you start inquiring lot of things then the ideation phase comes in this phase you will make sense of what you learn identify the opportunities for design and prototype possible solutions so once you have learned from the people what is their need and you also identify there is an opportunity in this particular space okay when you identify an opportunity in this particular space then you start working on the ideation and the prototype of that design of that particular product or a solution or a service implementation phase this is where you will bring your solution to life eventually to the market or you launch your product and you will know that your solution will be success because you have kept the very people you are looking to serve at the heart of the process so what you are doing is you are creating the product for the people whose problems you are sol uh, sol giving solution for so it is from problem to solution so this is what the human centered design it works like this inspiration ideation implementation and this is where your final product is ready creation launching okay <coughs> so you diverge into multiple ideas multiple problems multiple needs then you converge into a particular problem where there is a opportunity then again you diverge into different options how do we create this product what are the prototypes we can create how which are the types of prototypes we can create then again finally you converge into one particular solution which is the product you create okay so kids as makers mindset is very very important human centered design it's all designed by all of us we are the creators of the world and tomorrow also all of you will be the creators so i urge all of you to really focus your attention become makers become creators start thinking creatively and start creating in your prototypes and your own products for the world to use thank you